Hi, you two. Um, this is going to be my week five of pregnancy with baby number two. Uh, we found out that we were pregnant on December 6th. And we took a test in the evening. And it was more so because it was kind of late in my cycle. Um, let me pull that test. There it is. Um, so you can see... It was whoop, upside down. Pregnant. It's probably going to read backwards, but yeah. And uh, I think it was like cycle day number 34. And my cycles usually run long, so I wasn't really worried up until pretty much that day. And we decided to take a test. And we are very excited. Um, I think that, you know, it's going to be really great having babies spaced two years apart. Um, the due date would be August 19th, and that is three months after baby's birthday. So I think it's going to be really nice, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, as far as symptoms, I didn't find out until a few days ago, but just like the things that I noticed that kind of caught my eye, or um, my breasts were really sore, and that's kind of unusual for me. And I don't remember that with my daughter's pregnancy, my first pregnancy, but um, yeah, it just kind of was a little red flag in the back of my head that I just ignored. And then um, just like a little more emotional, and like stress was getting to me a little easier than it no normally would. Um, and my appetite was really weird, like I just wasn't hungry when I normally would be, but then was like starving to the point of feeling lightheaded more frequently in certain points of the day, so I don't know, it was just, that was weird, but I don't know, I just started eating more, and it kind of like went away, eating more frequently. And once I took the test, Thursday night, Friday, I was at work and doing my normal work, and I just noticed little cervical twinges that I don't know if they were there before or if, I don't know, I used to get them with my daughter all the time, so it was like I knew what it was and I just hadn't noticed it and it was kind of, it's kind of early for that, I think I didn't start feeling that until like closer to 10 weeks, but they're there and so that was cool and yeah, we're just um, kind of like stuff we're going to be doing in the next week for week six is just I'm going to start doing midwife research. Um, I had a midwife and a home birth with my first pregnancy and um, I really want to do that again but my midwife that I used last time not only is like two hours north of us now because we moved but um, she's blacked out the whole month of August in her calendar because she's kind of like taking a break going on a trip that she's had planned for a while so Unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to find a new midwife, which is a little stressful to me because I just loved my midwife last time so much, and, you know, I, it would have been nice to have her catch both my babies, but it's okay. I'll, I'll find another one, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I hope. Um, so that's kind of going to be what my focus is going to move towards. Um, what else? Oh, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday just for a pregnancy verification blood test type thing. Nothing major. Um, and then just basically going to be starting prenatals probably tomorrow and um, starting like my pregnancy diet. Um, I'm more prone to hypoglycemia in pregnancy, so I tend to do like a high protein low carb, no sugar type of diet during pregnancy and my body reacts really well to it. I don't gain a lot of weight but I gain the right amount of weight and um, I just feel really good. So I'm going to have to start that. I'm not really looking forward to it. I do love a sweet tooth and I like to, yeah, I like to snack on sugar and other yummy things. And so that's going to be really hard, especially with the holiday. I may have to cheat a few times, but yeah, that's going to be kind of 
what I'm gonna have to steer towards. Um, I'll I'll do a video on it in case anybody's interested. But yeah, otherwise other videos that I'm going to do is just kind of like a life update. I might post it before this, so you'll probably see that already. But if you're watching this and you haven't, then totally check out my life update because my life has been insane over the last nine months and yeah fill you guys in it's not like what um what else i'll do just kind of like a what our plans are for this pregnancy um i'm i don't know there isn't really a lot i have to do the midwife is kind of like the biggest thing um otherwise as far as like getting stuff we have a lot of clothes obviously even if it's a girl like I can stop giving away my clothes right now and have like 18 months and up totally set but as far as like past sizes I just kept slept things I wasn't really hoarding clothes so definitely gonna have to get more clothes um but there's not like there's no like huge things um I do have one big ticket item and I'll share that in that video but um yeah so, kind of like starting to compile that list and make a video about that, make a video about like general to-dos and lots of other exciting things. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.